Hello there, we're gonna start with our morning calendar. So first, what do we go over? We go over the date, so I'm gonna say it and then you're going to say it, ready? Today is September 29th, 2020. Can you say it with me? Today is September 29th, 2020. Wonderful. Next, we are gonna go over the days of the week. Let's say them all together. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Do you know what day is today? Yesterday was Monday. So what comes after Monday? Tuesday, excellent. All right, what is the weather looking like there out today? Go take a peek out your window and let me know. All right, it's a little chilly, it looks like to me this morning. Um, I can see the sun a little bit, but it's mostly cloudy right now this morning. So I'm gonna put it on cloudy. And like I said, it's a little chilly. What do you think you're gonna wear today? Hmm, maybe you're gonna wear pants. Maybe you're going to wear a sweater on top. Or you could probably still wear a short sleeve shirt. And if you're gonna wear a short sleeve shirt, then remember you might need a coat. And then yesterday it was kind of rainy and today it's still a little wet. So you might wanna wear your boots. Wonderful, all right, next. What is the letter we are learning this week? It is the letter C. We have an uppercase and a lowercase. Can you make a C in the air? Around one easy curved line. Wonderful. And for the letter C, we have cake and cow. Can you say those words with me? Cake, cow, both have the k sound. They start with the letter C. Excellent. All right, now it's time to rhyme. I'm going to bring my pictures closer and say them with me. We have a hen and a pen. Hen and pen. Hen and pen. They both have N. They are rhyming words. All right, do you know anything else that might rhyme with hen, pen, men, 10? Anything else? All right, great job. And today and this week, we still have the color of the week is the color white. What do you see that's white? Are you wearing any white? There's no white on me, maybe a little bit in my watch is kind of a white. And then our shape this week, has four sides. One, two, three, four. It has two long sides and two short sides. It is a rectangle. So today, don't forget, look for rectangles outside or around your home. All right, last thing for our calendar is our gumball machine. And we are still working on this number, which is the number three. Excellent. All right, if it's the number three, what are we gonna put on our gumball machine? Three gumballs, count with me. One, two, three. All right, let's count one more time. One, two, three. Matches the number three, excellent. All right, next we are going to do our inner explore. So you can sit nicely in a chair, crisscross applesauce on the floor as you do a little activity where you're gonna sit quietly, close your eyes and do a little breathing. Hi, my friends. This is Jake, and I'm so happy to be exploring with you today. Let's get ready by closing your eyes and listening to the sound of the chimes. Today, we're going to learn how to use our breathing to help settle down and feel more focused and calm. Remembering to keep your eyes closed so you can pay close attention to what's happening on the inside of you. Let's begin by breathing softly, like a whisper. Breathing in through your nose 
and out through your nose. Again, breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. Sitting up tall with your shoulders back a little and letting your legs and arms rest right where they are. Noticing how it feels to be sitting today. As you breathe, paying special attention to how each breath feels. As the air goes in and out of your body. Taking another breath now and breathing a bit slower this time. In through your nose and out through your nose. Now, putting your hand on your belly and as you breathe, noticing if your belly moves. Sometimes we call this belly breathing. As you take a big, deep breath in, imagining that belly is like a balloon and it's getting filled with air. As you breathe out, the air goes out of the balloon and your belly gets smaller. Again, as you breathe in, your belly gets really big, like a balloon. As you breathe out, your belly gets smaller. Keep practicing belly breathing with your hand on your belly and your eyes closed, feeling how your belly moves. As you breathe in, and out. In, and out. When you practice belly breathing, you calm yourselves down and maybe even feel better. As you take another slow breath in and out, opening your eyes and singing the exploring song together. When I look out, I can hear my heart sing. 